Muggs, what's up to? Are you a good boy? We have a mission. Muggs. I got an email note from a gentleman in Norway who needs some parts for his 6.5. You know, now I forget. Uh-oh. It may be a big pile of junk, but I know where my brace and bit is. And my Craftsman Ratchet, made in USA. I bought a whole new set to keep at the lake house. And it says on the toolbox, Made in China, and the clerk says, no, no, it's not. It's made in USA. All the crafts and hand tools are made in USA. Anyways, I open up the box, I get it to the house, and I open the box up, and wouldn't you know it... No, 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 come here. Mugs, there's cats. Mugs! <whistles> come on. I have to fool them. I left the door open. It's colder in here than it is outside. Yep. Anyhow, I open the toolbox, I get it to the house, open the toolbox, and wouldn't you know it, the tools just don't have that same Made in USA quality finish. And I look on them and they don't say Made in USA. Made in China. I can't believe it. The exact same tooling is now made in China. Yeah, tiny print. How do you like that? I think they shipped off all the tooling to China. Anyhow, getting back on subject, the young man, Christopher, with a K, asked me for some bolts. Now I forget if they're 6.5 or 6.2. The bolts are the same, but the starter bracket is different because it uses a metric starter, which has a smaller diameter. So, I have factory bolts right there with the recessed head and that knurling there. I don't know what the knurling does. And then I have some grade 8 bolts that have more threads and no knurling and a smaller head. Not a 15 millimeter, probably a 9 16 which is closer to 14. 14 is a fraction smaller than 9 16 And I have some larger head longer ones to go deeper in the block in case you broke a bolt in the block and you have to drill the block a bit to get the broken part out. Usually you don't. It usually just breaks off flush with the block. But here's some longer ones. So which ones do I send him? That is a good question. And I thought I had more. But... There we go. Yeah, I do have more. So I've got lots of genuine ones, four of those, two of the longer ones, and two of the grade 8. Oh, these are metric. Metric uses a different grading designation. Hmm. So I don't know if the 6-5 uses metric bolts. I don't remember. And my 6.5 starter is not here. It is at the starter rebuilding shop. And he called me this morning and asked me to plow a friend's house. So I went there and I plowed a little bit, but it was all ruddy and icy. And somebody else asked me if I had hmm, asked me if I had oh, lots of junk. Ask me if I had a 6.5 gas pedal. There's a 94-95 style. 94-95, first year, second year. Then there's a 96-97. And here is some parts from that dump truck that I got from the guy who worked on that truck. Here's another one from the 95 sub, the weasel. 
and the check throttle light comes on occasionally. I traded, changed this almost two years ago, February 2012. So this one's so-so. It works, but the check throttle light will come on and it gets a little funky. You turn off the engine and restart it. Just ran out of memory, Mr. Muggs. It's all right. Anyhow, this one came off of the 97 crew cab that got scrapped before I had a chance to salvage parts off of it. I didn't take the one off the dump truck. I forgot. My bad. So this one's good from the crew cab. What are you doing? Yeah, lots of junk parts. So there's a 97 one. And I think they're different because I tried to plug one in and the wire color was different as I recall. Let's see. Two, two, and six. Sure looks the same. What do you want? Well, the plug-in looks the same. Got two little dimples on the bottom corner. Right in the bottom. There's a little lug sticking into the void towards the bottom pin. Bottom left and bottom right. They sure look alike. Yep. Hang on, I'll put this thing down. I'll point out to you where the little dimples are. And you'll see what yours looks like. Let me get my little pointing tool. There's a little dimple there. And there's one there. And one there. So if that was a big clock, one would be at 5 o'clock, one would be at 6 o'clock, and there's one there at 8 o'clock. Two pins there across the top, two pins there, and then five across the bottom. And I swear they both look alike, and I thought they were different. I thought the 97 used a different one, but looks the same to me. I'll take pictures and I'll post the pictures with the video. I don't get into fancy editing, so I just stop the camera and restart it, and I can insert a picture. All right. So I got my bolts right there for Mr. Christopher in Norway. And I have to ask him if he has a 6.2 or a 6.5, and I have to get him his bracket. Now, here's a weird thing. Here is a weird thing. Got lots of brackets here. The 6-2 bracket looks like that. Bent on a fancy machine that's probably off in China somewhere. You can thank Mitt Romney for that. Go look it up before I start ranting. And here is the bracket. Well, those are 6-2 brackets. I've got three of them. And here's a bracket for the 6.5. Now you know where this is going. How much do you think this genuine bracket costs if you go to the Chevy dealer? The 6.2 bracket is $2.50 or $2.36 or something ridiculous. This bracket, which is half the bracket of this, it's even thinner. Oh, no, same thing. $12. What is that? It's a piece of bed frame. Ran out of memory again. So anyhow, here's your $12 piece. Part number one... No, N23502 S7, whatever. Here's your $12 part. And here's a piece of bed frame that I made for pennies. And looks to me like the same thing. What do you think? $1? Of course I had to make it to drill the hole and make it bigger and cut away all this stuff here and it bolts, bolts to the block just like that and uh, this goes through the starter I'm looking at it from the block it goes on like that and it's really important on the 6.2's and the 6.5's because 
GM didn't put big enough starter bolts in. So you really need it. And the 6.2 just goes on like that. So they're similar, but 6.2 is actually bigger. Maybe the bolt on the 6. Oh, the 6.2, the 6.5 has a big lug that protrudes from the starter. An aluminum lug because the armature field coils are much smaller. I don't have one here. There's one from a 454, if you can believe it. It's got rare earth, high strength magnets. So that's the deal. I have to find out if Mr. Christopher in Norway needs. Uh, hmm, even has a sticker on it. I have to find out if he needs a 6 2 bracket. Or, I'll send him one of my homemade 6.5 brackets. That's that. So now I'll put them all back where they were. So I can find them next time. Need any hold down plates for your battery. Got lots of those. Want to join a car club in New Jersey? It's cold in here. Dual thermostat. Outlets for 97 and up, 6.5s. Mr. Muggs is still waiting to go for a walk. And the gas pedals, I'm going to find out if my fellow wants to buy one of these. I missed a couple. There was one in the junkyard, I missed it, gone. And there was that 97 crew cab that got scrapped, or the dump truck rather, I missed that one. So I'm bad, bad, bad. That's enough. My fingers are frozen. At least I'm not watching a football game in Wisconsin. Off we go, Muggs. Good boy.